Yorkshire pulled off a stunning LV County Championship victory, their second in a week, with Jack Brooks bowling them to success over Derbyshire on the final afternoon at Headingley Carnegie. Yorkshire had battered their opponents on the previous day and resumed on the last morning on a massive 597 for 5 with a lead of 122. Their job first thing was to punish the Derbyshire attack some more by building on that impressive lead. Adil Rashid came out with all guns blazing. In the pursuit of quick runs, Yorkshire lost Gary Balance after he'd added only three runs to his overnight 50. He carved a short ball from John Clare into the safe hands of Wayne Madsen. The action more resembled a T20 match, or indeed a YB40 game. That competition gets underway this week. Tim Bresnan didn't worry about playing himself in as he took on the bowling at once, as Yorkshire neared their declaration target. Bresnan perished on a rapid 14 as he tried to hammer Tim Grunewald into next week, only to mistime his shot to long on where Clare held on. In just 10 overs of hitting, Yorkshire added 80 more runs, the declaration coming on 677 for 7, a total which equaled the fourth best in the county's history. That gave them a lead on first innings of 202, and they now had a bit more than two and a half sessions to turn that advantage into an unlikely win. And they started perfectly by removing Billy Godelman, who was leg before to Bresnan's shouldering arms for nine. The pitch, though, was still a terrific one to bat on, and had they not been batting to try to save a game, then the visitors would have felt very confident of seeing out the rest of this match with few alarms. But of course, a lot of cricket is played in the head, so this was not going to be a walk in the park for Derbyshire. And even less so when they lost two more wickets before lunch. Chesney Hughes added only 15 to his wonderful first innings of 270 not out by edging a drive off Liam Plunkett to balance. And then Plunkett got the big wicket of Shivnarine Chanderpaul, who had a little nibble outside his off stump and Nick behind. That left Derbyshire in some trouble on 47 for 3, but they seemed to be easing towards the draw as much of the afternoon session belonged to them. With the Headingley pitch still offering next to nothing for the bowlers, Madsen and Wes Durston were able to bat with few concerns as they steadily tried to knock off their deficit while using up valuable overs in the process. Anyone fancying a flutter at this stage would not have been given any odds at all on the draw now that this pair had settled to their task at hand and seemed to be making decent headway. But with a total on 139 after a stand of 92, Derbyshire were hit hard when Durston, having just completed his 50, clipped a Brooks half volley straight to square leg. Madsen now needed to hold firm with half an hour to go until tea. He completed his second 50 of the match, this one occupying 116 balls and including eight fours. That was unimportant to him right now though. He just needed to bat for a couple more hours and the draw would be a formality. However, he lasted only 11 more deliveries. Some reverse swing from Brooks had Madsen given out leg before, although he may have felt that the ball had done too much. Then, on the stroke of tee, Derbyshire was six down while still 45 runs behind. David Wainwright playing over a turning ball from Rashid and being bowled. Worse followed immediately after the break when Derbyshire collapsed horribly. Dan Redfern edged a beauty from Brooks behind before a third wicket fell with a total on 157, as next ball Tom Pointer was another to find Brooks simply too good, although again the ball swung a lot and late. It was a sensational spell from Brooks, who was as close as it's possible to be to getting a hat-trick. How Grunewald survived this, only he will know. Not that Yorkshire were kept waiting for long, Rashid bowled Grunewald before the brilliant Brooks swung another one in to Tony Palladino, to win what some might believe was another touch-and-go LBW decision. Brooks didn't care, he was unplayable and ended with figures of 5 for 40 as Yorkshire incredibly won with time to spare. So when was the last time a man scored an unbeaten 270 and finished not only on the losing side but on a side which lost by an innings? That happened to Hughes as the home side won by an innings and 39 runs. Derbyshire all out for just 163 in their second innings. Only Peter Perrin, Jason Gallion and Phil Mead have scored more runs in a match and ended losing by an innings. The 21-point win puts Yorkshire into the top three in the table, while Derbyshire will remain bottom, having lost their last three matches.